What's up, boxing fans? Welcome to the channel. Demo Box This is your homie Tony Bugs, and so we're gonna be talking about uh, Edgar Berlanga's uh, performance uh, last night, uh, Saturday, and uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade uh, event that that he had in New York. Uh, so, so yeah, versus uh, Alex Angulo versus Edgar Berlanga. Well, uh, you know. Angulo came with the with the pressure, so Berlanga started to uh, started to box, but he wasn't throwing as much, and Angulo was getting to him. So Berlanga would tag Angulo here and there, but once he he felt Angulo coming on too strong, he just started to box more, but it wasn't really being as effective. He still, you know, he still, uh, I would say, edged it. Um, but you know, uh, he could have. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna have more power than that. But he also didn't throw. He didn't throw enough. And uh, you know, he had a a training camp out in Puerto Rico where where he was for like six months training with Tito Trinidad and all that. You know, all the greats from Puerto Rico. You know, uh, uh, the Puerto Ricans right now they really need a. They really need a, a star, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they don't really have any champions. I believe they probably have like one, one uh, like full champ, like in the 120 division, something like that. But I mean, you know, they're kind of desperate for a star, so uh, you know, they they think uh, Berlanga is one of them. But I just I just don't see it. He just he just had lackluster performances, and now his third fight, even though he got a unanimous decision. Which I thought it was a lot closer, cause uh, it was a, a a real close fight, even even to to the tenth round, cause it wasn't a title fight, so I didn't go twelve rounds, no championship rounds. So, uh, yeah, they. Uh, I I had commented on on Berlanga's uh, post uh, for for this fight that he just had, and I'm like, if if you are to knock. Angulo out before the 11th, how Benavides, you know, I would be impressed and not like it matters, right? But still, like, uh, it would impress anybody if, if he were done that. But I mean, he he went to the he went distance to the 10th round, uh, and you know, he really didn't show much. He just he just really showed that he's not he's not ready for for the top. Of the division because I think the the Caleb Plants, the Daniel, even the Daniel Jacobs, I and he was there in the audience being a, a fellow uh, New York guy, so uh, that would be a cool fight for uh, for Berlanga, but I don't know. I think it's a dangerous fight because if if uh, Jacobs can land clean and a little bit. More than Berlanga, which sometimes he don't do, but that's an interesting fight. Uh, but I, I would give the edge to to Jacobs in that fight. But but yeah, I don't know. I, I just think Berlanga needs to uh, work work on throwing more combinations because uh, he was he was being gun shy. Maybe you know he has uh, he got his. Um, his confidence down from being knocked down like three fights ago versus that Conceres, uh guy. Uh, could it be that he lost some confidence? Uh, Cause he, he he's not throwing as much. He's he's more gun shot, so he tries to box more. But what what happens when he has a a better fighter than Nanangulo that comes forward with a lot of pressure and applies. Uh, more combinations uh, to his arsenal and how is Berlang gonna react? Cause he looked he looked fatigued. He looked he looked like he wasn't in the best, uh, you know, not the best cardio. He probably didn't work as as much in the cardio. But I mean, like I said, he was training now with Dio Trinidad in in Puerto Rico and and. Uh, and they were running, so you know. Um, I just think he, uh, Berlanga needs to to focus more 
more on boxing, not so much in the celebrity life, which might seem to be, you know, having an effect, but uh, we'll, we'll continue to see how he develops. But best believe either they throw him to the wolves and, you know, uh, get him a championship fight to see where he's at and if he's gonna if he's gonna become champion or not. You know, that's what Top Rank usually does. Um, and there's that time that he gets a couple more fights and then maybe if if he wins those convincingly, and if not, even if he don't, uh, he as long as he just gets a victory, uh, he will still get a, a crack at a, at a title for being with Top Rank. That just uh, what comes with being in that, that big uh, company that is Top Rank for being in invested in boxing for years uh, so you know the, oh, they're OGs in the game so they will get Berlanga those those fights but uh, I think I just think Puerto Rico needs to find a new star you know I don't think it's Berlanga because I mean he's not he's not showing clutch clutch movement you know clutch clutch uh, finishes as he was doing in the beginning but you know anybody can knock out uh, opponents in the first round, but it's about learning and and you know uh, he's not having Berlang is not having a uh, as good showings um, as of late since he can't get his opponents out. But uh, like uh, like I said, uh, he probably got his confidence uh, down ever since he uh, he suffered that that knockdown, and it was a pretty bad fight, you know. So. Uh, so yeah, we'll see where where he goes from there, and he keeps switching trainers as well. He was with Rozier, uh, one of Daniel Jacobs' trainer, uh, and he ditched him. Now, now I didn't even notice until after the fight, uh, but you know now he has a different one, and you know he just needs to find a style because he doesn't really have like a like a style. He just he hasn't figured it himself out his fighting style, so. Uh, yeah, I just I just think he just needs to throw more, cause he did he was doing all right, but he was getting he was getting rocked, and then and then he got so frustrated that that he's trying to uh, buy home his ear, almost uh, pulled the Mike Tyson. That was crazy. That looked crazy, uh, and it just came out of nowhere. He said that Berlang was saying that trying to stop uh, Angulo's elbows, but I mean. Uh, I just seen Angulo had a high guard, but and he was being he was being effective. So I think it just frustrated Berlanga and and tried to go for the ear, like what? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's just he just gotta watch out with that, cause if he gets another boxer that's you know gotta get 32, it's gonna end bad. So. Maybe even being disqualified, so it's not a good look. But you know, I just think it was a, a point of frustration for Berlanga that he couldn't really do anything, but he just wasn't throwing combinations. So, uh, Dave Benavides from the first round dominated Angulo into knocking him out in the 11th, but he was causing damage on Angulo before he stopped him, and Berlanga never did that. Uh, and it could. I could have seen it going for Alexis Angulo because, I mean, he was being a lot of times the aggressor and Berlanga was fighting off the, the back foot, you know, just countering, boxing, moving, uh, but not really throwing as much, you know, that's why he, he had a, a bloody uh, beard and all that, so, uh, yeah, man, uh, just Berlanga needs to keep working on his game, man. You know, see if he can become champ. Cause if he don't, I don't see him even beating the top top ten guys. You know what I'm saying? Top ten, five, definitely not the five. So, uh, you know, until until next time, we'll see. We'll see if 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 he can get uh, you know, better fights going on down. But we'll see what how top rank is gonna move him. From now on, but I think they will. 
they will continue getting them good fights and and probably uh, end up getting them on a title fight if if you know uh, Canelo comes down and and moves the pieces of the belts around so uh, if Erlanga stays undefeated he could probably get a crack at the belt for being undefeated and having a, a fan base you know it's like a for a Canelo, that's like a, a money grab, an easy money grab, because that's like taking uh, candy from a baby, you know. Uh, but as long as too inexperienced, he's not going to have, he's going to be outgunned, outpowered. I mean, if he, he could, he could crack, so I mean, you know, he does have punches chance, but that's it. Uh, he's, he would be too easy for Canelo, so I mean. They will take the fight definitely for a payday, but I mean, it'll be a for sure L. And, uh, you know, he has to go after the Caleb Plants, the, like I was saying, the Dan Jacobs, uh, even even the Jermel Charlos, uh, you know, but I think, I think uh, the, you know, Charlo beats him. I think uh, Golovkin beats Berlanga and all those good fights, you know, Andrade as well. Uh, but... I mean, uh, Berlang is in top rank, depending, uh, you know, he got the Angulo fight, but they'll, they're going to have to challenge, uh, move him good, but I mean, I think the, they are going to get him good fights as well, so, uh, I mean, Benavides wants to smoke, you know, he just, he just, uh, who did he just last beat? Uh, Benavides, David Lemieux, so, you know, he just took out Lemieux. Benavides says he wants to smoke with everybody, so, Berlanga, you know, Berlanga's been quiet. He says he ain't want to smoke. Morel, you know, he was trash talking. Now, he be quiet because even his trainers are saying that he's not ready. So, uh, I mean, you know, what is it? Who's going to fight the Mexican monster for real, like, and then Caleb Plant don't want it with uh with Benavides. Plant been ducking. Charlo don't want it. Andrade don't want it. He's injured to pull out of his fight. Uh Golovkin's fighting Canelo. Canelo fighting Golovkin. So uh so who else? Uh Jacobs. I mean Jacobs don't want it. Darrell got it already. Uh you know, who's, who's going to step up, who's going to step up, but, uh, you know, but as long as easy work for Benavides, for sure. Morel, Morel's easy work for Benavides. Now, Plant, I wouldn't say easy work, but that's more, uh, you know, more competitive, for sure. Uh, so, I mean, you know, Benavides just became the interim. Uh, that's, that's like having a, a mandatory to Canelo's real one, so, I mean, if y'all want a shot at Canelo, you know, try, try going after Benavides and, and whoever has the other in rooms, but as of now, Benavides has one, Morel has like a, a secondary, secondary WBA championship, don't really mean nothing, but, uh, yeah, who's going to fight who now? There's, 168 is one of the most interesting weight classes as of right now, but uh, no one is really fighting each other other than Canelo because how he became undisputed. Because even before that, when Caleb Plant and Benavides was up there, uh, you know, uh, they were chance, but they weren't, they weren't trying to unify until Canelo came in there. That's when he put order and unified and became undisputed. Now everybody has to go after Canelo because he did that. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what goes down. But for Edgar Berlanga to get a, a real belt at 168, I think it's going to be hard. And by the time those belts probably uh, leave Canelo's hands, you know, I don't think he's going to keep them long. But... Cause I, I just think uh, I mean he can afford it for sure to pay the organizations but I don't know I, I just think uh, well you know we'll see 
Because, I mean, right now he's going to play his beloved game. He's been fighting mandatory. He just might keep fighting all the mandatory. So, uh, Canelo didn't, you know, he didn't look good. Uh, he got dominated at 75 by Bivol. Uh We're going to see what goes down after this uh, trilogy because there is no say Canelo will win. So he, he may lose. A lot of people now might feel he might lose since he just took a L. So uh, I got people already telling me uh, uh, they're trying to put money on the left. And so, I mean, I think Canelo's going to win by KO, but, uh, or if not, just get a victory. But, I mean, we will see in September. And a lot of people are already writing Canelo off because um, he got dominated at 175. But, I mean, you know. Uh, we'll see what goes down in in uh, in the Triple G trilogy since uh, since that is at 68 and you know just like a, a fight for the fans and and the money fight for them as well so a uh, good fight but like I said that going down at 68 we will see uh, who Berlanga fights uh, we will see how they move him after this we'll, Depending on his next fight, we're gonna see how they're trying to move him. But uh, there's still um, a lot of dope fights out out there that need to happen. So they need to happen. Uh, Benavides needs to get the fights that he wants. The Caleb plans. They need to stop ducking the the Charlos, uh, the the Morels, the the Berlangas. You know, step up. They need to step up, you know what I'm saying? They need to, they need to fight, uh, but they're not fighting because Benavides, the one of the interim champs, wants, wants the smoke. And I mean, if I don't get it, because I mean, if you if you beat Benavides, you're gonna get a, a ton of fans. So I do not see why they're not they're not trying to fight Benavides, but I mean, they know they're gonna take the L, uh, but. But exciting fights at 168 if, if a lot of them could, could materialize for sure. Uh, but that's, uh, that's going to be the video that I have for the Berlanga. Berlanga, not so exciting fight that he had. But uh, until next time, I'm going I'm to spit some, some game in Spanish. So that's for my English-speaking folks. And... And I'm going to do a little bit in Espanol. So, you know, just remember to go like, comment, subscribe. But more than anything, just like, you know, that, that helps the channel. But, uh, but, you know, thanks for the support. Uh, until next video. Y que borras este fanáticos del deporte. Bienvenidos al canal. Como les dije al principio cuando empecé en inglés. Uh. Es este su viejo en este Tony Wax, aquí estamos y vamos a andar hablando de Edgar Berlán contra el colombiano el puertorriqueño Edgar Berlanga contra Alex Angulo que uh, pelearon en Nueva York por este el día de, de Puerto Rico y hacen un parade y todo ese show este y pues un show de de talento boricua y este y Edgar Berlanga uh, tomando el puesto que antes Miguel Cotto este uh, tenía en, en pelear en, en esos días en el junio 11 y cada verano peleaba este recuerdo que miraba muchas esas peleas de Miguel Cotto un gran boxeador por ahí que lo respeto mucho y miré su uh, segunda parte de su carrera puede ser entonces este uh, soy un fan de Miguel Cotto y recuerdo pues que eh, en el verano siempre me daba este peleas de Miguel Cotto y, y super chingón este uh, pero ahora Edgar Berlanga este tomó este ese, este día y y pues este contra esta, esta pelea contra Angulo este no no fue la pelea que todos pensaban que iba a ser porque Toda la raza ahí, este Borico se miraba apagada porque pues, no, no fue lo que esperaron de Berlanga, no, no les dio un espectáculo de, de un KO. Entonces fue una pelea muy, este, 
muy cerrada que podría este, ir en cualquier este, a dirección de, en la del Boricua a Berlango o en el colombiano este, Angulo, pero obviamente que ahí la estrella es, es Berlanga y, y pues la compañía de Top Rank no va a dejar que, que se vaya al piso eso, entonces pues ahí uh, como vieron en, en las este, en las tarjetas uh, como decisión unánime yo, yo pensé que fue más cerca pero uh, bueno yo no soy juez y, y pues se le respeta pero uh, fue mucho más cerca de eso porque uh, Angulo fue el agres al agresor y este estaba poniendo la presión y, y Berlanga nomás uh, es, estaba tratando de, de contragolpear pero no estaba este, tirando demasiado y, y Angulo le estaba este, uh, conectando bastante entonces pues este yo podía mirar este también Angulo ganar pero uh, bueno este no más que el hype de Berlang ya se está se está apagando porque no, no está cumpliendo este a lo que según pensaban que iba a ser un, un noqueador uh, entonces ya su última, sus últimas tres peleas no han, no han sido tan, tan acá, tan espectaculares entonces porque en la, en la tercera contra Joseres eh, creo que era argentino este, lo, lo tumbó a la lona y entonces fue la primera vez que a Berlán que había caído pero también el Lubin de, de haber dos des, divisiones abajo que peleé en la 154 casi lo noqueó en sparring y es un peleador de este, dos divisiones abajo entonces tiene cuestionable la quijada Berlán entonces alguien como Benavides, Canelo, Golovkin, Charlo y todos ellos yo creo que lo pueden descontar, entonces bueno, este, vamos a ver cómo Top Rank lo, lo maneja por ahí, pero no creo que esta vaya a ser la, la estrella boricua que los boricuas piensan en tener, este, yo creo que Sander Sayas tiene más potencial y este, uh, que Berlanga, porque pues, Berlanga se ve que uh, le importa más la vida de, de artista que boxeador, porque porque ya este, a lo que yo veo, este, pues es, es una estrella, entonces va a ir generando este, mucho más dinero del de boxeador normal, latino, este, boricua o así, porque a los boricuas tienen mucha hambre en tener una estrella, entonces si llega alguien que viene noqueando a todos sus oponentes en el primer round, entonces les va a dar una esperanza, pero ya después que sube el nivel, que sube nivel y, y no está haciendo lo mismo, pues, ¿me entiendes? Por, es por algo, no, no, no es lo que uh, nos, primero nos estaban vendiendo, entonces, este, no sé, este, tiene que como tomar más en serio este, su carrera, porque si no, este, uh, porque si no, pues va a perder y pues, la raza lo va a abandonar, a, como muchos fanáticos que abandonan a, a los boxeadores que, que este, pierden por primera vez. Y eso no está bien porque si tú eres un fanático de un boxeador, uh, él, él se sube al cuadrilátero y, y te da espectáculo. De todos modos, es de tenerle respeto, no nomás porque pierdes lo, oh, ya no soy fanático. Entonces, es no ser un fanático de... Pues puede ser de cualquier este, deporte entonces uh, pues muchos peleadores entonces no quieren tienen miedo en perder porque piensan que los fanáticos ya no los van a este, apoyar pero por eso lo, la afición mexicana es muy adorada porque uh, los demás peleadores que no son mexicanos saben que si peleas y das espectáculo y regalas, regalas un espectáculo a la, a la gente que paga entonces te van a apoyar este, mucho entonces es este, lo que la afición no más pide y, y siempre te van a apoyar pero también este, hay de fanático a fanático que le gusta si el boxeador o el, el estilo agresivo y que tira muchos, este, muchos golpes y, y te trata de noquear entonces Depende 
cual sea eso, pero eh, la gente va a ver espectáculo, knockouts y así, entonces, más que nada, uh, eso fue lo que falló Berlán en hacer, entonces, vamos a ver cómo se sigue desa desarrollando, porque pues, tiene como 24, 25 años, entonces vamos a ver cómo sigue, y pues vamos a ver si pelea o lo empujan a a que pelee contra los campeones, a ver si, si va a lo, poder lograr a, en convertirse en campeón, entonces veremos y eso va a ser todo a hasta la próxima, pero no se olviden de darle like y comentar y, y compartir el video, uh, gracias por venir al canal, tengo un su camarada Tony Box, hasta la próxima.